Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel and today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different and something very interesting today. So today I'm actually going to be driving a KZ1 car around Mansell's Raceway. So this is actually my mate Peter's car and it is absolutely insane. It is in mint condition as you see, pretty much brand new. Uh, barely done any track time. So to get the opportunity to drive this is an amazing experience and a massive shout out to Peter for giving me this opportunity. So today I'm going to be showing you a session I did with it. Um, I only got a couple laps on record because I kind of forgot to start recording beforehand. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it then and I will show you the footage then. So here we go then, as you can see I started to go for it whilst I was actually already on track and coming to the end of the session so I only got a couple laps in. Um, as you can see I am actually wearing a completely new gear, a uh, race gear for 2023, a um, new helmet and everything so it does look a little bit different all in black and white which is pretty cool. But nevertheless so we head around the final corner then at Mansell's in the KZ1 car because down the straight you just go flat all the way down the straight completely cut the chicane. Um, in the gearbox carts and all the way down towards turn one for the first time. Um, yeah, it was quite difficult driving the KZ1 cart, not gonna lie. Um, it's a lot more different to road tax than I imagined. Um, when I first was about to go out in it, I thought it would probably be kind of similar to road tax, but it was completely different. It was so hard to try and get used to the gear changes, and especially around the end of the track section, I really struggled. Um, I'll point out to you what part I struggled with mainly. So just coming around here then, coming down to the well, hairpin section. Now this is the part I mainly struggle with because I struggle trying to flick up a gear and going around this corner one-handed. I'm sure if I keep practicing I'll get a lot better at it, but for my first session I really struggle with that. So that's one of the main points that I need to try and work on. But now we head down the start from the straight once again to start the final lap and actually my quickest lap I think of the session. As we start the lap now, run down towards turn, we're flicking down the gears. Um, get a little bit of oversteer in towards turn 1 there, so really have to watch out for that. It's so easy to light up the rears in this cart, to be honest, when you are in quite a low again, just get on the power too quickly, so you really got to watch out for that. As now we head on to the back straight, taking it very nicely, running out as well as we can there. Coming down towards the hairpin section once again, we take it quite tight there, really didn't use up as much of the track as I could. Um, and coming into that corner there was a bit scruffy, but nevertheless we carry on. The gear change was a little bit dodgy there, once again, like I said, really struggled that corner. Down towards the final hairpin section and the final corner of the track. Didn't quite get the exit I wanted to, but nevertheless we open up all the way down the straight and get as much speed as we can up to the max gear, and that was my fastest lap there. And as we come across the line now and finish a lap, that was my few laps in the KZ1 car. Like I said, it was a hell of an experience to try this, and I could not be more grateful for the opportunity I was given by Peter and his dad Rick, so massive shout out to them. And yeah, I'm actually going to let you listen to the raw audio of me coming down the straight, and also the raw audio of my reaction as I come into the pits and talk to Peter. So yeah, I'll let you enjoy that one, um, it's quite a funny reaction, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mate, I actually pooped myself. Where are they Scott, I think your brake pads are right.